welcome back to part 3 of Duel of the Jungle, episode 1. Where we last left off, it was level 10. And we're trying to escape our rocky dungeon here. So, let us enter. The Knight's Puzzle. Didn't we already deal with switches? Hmm. So, the whole goal here is to... Flip, flip these switches and make these knights non-lethal. Otherwise, that'll happen. Let's see if I can make this little jump trick here. Uh, when you spawn in, you can, if you time it just right, you can actually jump and hit that. You know, get up here. It probably mess up the continuity of the puzzle a little bit, but it doesn't matter. It's a very short one anyway. All right, I believe that's it. A simple puzzle if you just follow the order. Now this one here is a trial and error puzzle. Isn't that nice? I think it's up. And I'm not certain if that's it or not. Okay, there's one I missed. It's trial and error, what can you do? Okay, so this here is a solution. And it's just... Eh, no real rhyme or reason. Okay, and here's another rocky puzzle. Ah. And uh, also they introduced these uh, introduced these um fadey platforms that kind of fade in and out of existence. They're one way, so you can go up to the bottom of them, but um, you can stand on them for a very brief period of time. Whoa! Okay, you gotta be careful about that. Okay. See that little gap there? Jill actually can't go in there. It's... She doesn't have... She's not that agile. So, the goal... Well, the goal here is to get all the keys. And unlock the doors at the end. But, it would... It really helps to leave some of those rocks around so you can step on them. Instead of having to worry about... Um, you know, timing the platform to ride. Try and step on these. There we go. I think that's it. Okay. Alright, so now we got two gems and now we can leave this place. But we'll, we'll be back. Alright, so there's level 11 down there, and this is the switch I was talking about. Now let's head back down and see what that unlocked. <clears throat> I can't read that. Heh. <laughs> Tim. 1992. Ooh. So basically what this refers to is uh, the Incredible in the incredible Machine uh, being released in 1992. I mean, that's the, only, that's the only thing I know it could stand for. I like those games. I'll have to play those sometime. And here... Uh, I want to go in there, go up there and just see what's what's in there, but... I can't. <laughs> no way I can get up there. So, maybe it's just nothing, but it leaves me curious. Alright, so now, we have access to the final levels here. 11, 12, 13, and uh, 14, which I don't think even has a level number. Okay, so, now this is... It's a bit tougher, um, it's a dark forest. See? So let's go. Uh, I'll leave that bird alone. Oh. Oh! Uh -huh. It flew past me and back into it. I'll just leave him alone. This one's a, a bit of a tedious forest this time, like, compared to the other forest, which well, I don't think is anywhere near as uh, benev benevolent. Hey, look, a dope fish. From uh, Commander Keen, I think. Alright, let's go down. There you go with that helpful advice again. The game control is kind of rigid in, you know, being on a square or not, or halfway across, but it's, um, at least lets you air steer very, very carefully. Uh, don't fall down there, okay. 
I'm gonna go pick up those apples real quick. Well, you know, actually, since I have to run back, I'm not gonna do that, so I wanna have health to spare when I get back there. Eh, yeah. I'm waiting for those frogs to come and kill me. Right, just gotta time it right. <clears throat> yeah, everything will be okay. Alright, that's one. That's another. Ugh. Who knew they'd be trying to kill you? Uh, alright. Got him. Got another one. And I'll save again. All these spikes make me nervous. There's another frog. There he is. Alright, now I have to go up here. Is there another frog around here? Hmm. I thought I heard him, but... <clears throat> oh, no, I can't go that way. Oh, wow. I didn't want to land on the spike, so I had to turn back and see if it's safe. Okay, I'm actually going to watch where I land. There we go. Hi, fish. Don't worry, we'll get to deal with those guys later. Anything up there. Alright, I think that's it. So, actually, this is just an entirely optional map. <laughs> but it's worth quite a few points. Okay, now, let's, um, let's check out level 12. The Underground River. Now this is a very interesting level. Um, it has it has a land portion to deal with these walrus people with monocles or something. Uh, actually, oh, wow! I, I want to let them turn around and, and see what they look like. But since I seem to be so keen on getting in the water, let's do this. So, now we're a fish! <laughs> we're not a fish out of water. We can shoot these fish bullets. Make a funny sound. And, oh, let's see what these guys look like. Eh, I can't see them from there. So, um, let's deal with them later. So, um, you're basically stuck to the stream here. But you can swim around c completely freely in the water. Without worrying about drowning or dying on instantly. Uh, that's what they look like. They're very weird guys. I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to describe him. Let's keep a barrage of bullets here, and you'll be fine. You can't harm, seem to harm these guys with your fish bullets, which is fine. I have my blade for that in gel form. Ow! Okay, okay, just die. Thank you. Um, nowhere else to go. Uh, okay, I think I have to go around this way. I don't know what it looks like. It looks like some sort of, I don't know, fish bag container thing. Oh, hey, now that's... Okay, that's something else they can do. They can cross these water streams without dying. That's no fair. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna kill you. There. There's no way to get up there to kill him anyway. Okay. Now we're back in jail form. Let's see. Let's pick up the rest of the gems that are on land. A lot of gems in this level, that's for sure. Make, make Jazz Jackrabbit envious. <laughs> uh, okay, there's an enemy down here, but I'll just have to deal with him immediately. There. Okay, and I think that's it. Now again, I'm gonna test my theory again here. 
Yep, Jill still likes water, or doesn't. All right, that's it. Let's go. Okay. And that leaves us with two levels remaining. Let's do it. I like that name. And this music, for that matter. It's so weird. Okay, I don't think there's a way I can avoid him unless I try and dodge him at the end there. Alright, um... Ah, I'll pick this up right here, actually. Get out of my way. There's a final form here. Did I say the fish was the final form? Sorry, if I did. This is actually the final form you have. It's an almighty frog. But you know how powerful they are when they when they deal with you there. I mean, geez, the fish die in one hit. The, the birds, they, they kill themselves if you run into them. But nope. These uh, these frogs are worth the most points. And, and um, they, they're also very hard to hit. Okay. Let's go this way and... All right. Now I can actually, now I actually have a weapon, since you don't have one in jail form. You, uh, for some reason they block that off. I'm not sure why, but they do. Okay, there's one down here too. So now this level has some importance there. Well, you, you can see in level 12 and 13, both of them had an extra gem for you to collect again. Okay, and you get pulled into the wall. Alright, so, I leave us with three minutes to deal with the final level. Finish, yeah, I hope so. No, well, not I hope so, it's, uh, what a way to say it, just finish, <laughs> that's it. Jill enters the plateau. Oh, you mean like the Lost World? Let's do this. Ah, uh, there. I don't like those beehives. They, they just send these homing swarms out to kill you. I don't like that. Do I get a combo bonus if I don't miss? <laughs> I'd like to. Okay. Now we just head down here and uh, deal with these birds. There's a lot of them. Oh, another beehive. Ah! Oh my god, how did I miss all that? How'd they miss me? Okay. Ah! There, oh, I got another one. Um, I think that's it. That's almost it. Uh, where's that other bird? Come on, I want to deal with you. Okay, maybe I don't. Ant, okay. Key. Apple. Power up. What's left? That's... If you can't tell why I'm avoiding it, it's because that's the end right there. I want to get all the points. Oh, okay. There we go. Alright. see if I pick up both of these apples. Nope, it's at the... It's right under the epic sign. Let's watch the ending. Can I save from here? Nope. Mushrooms. Mushroom buildings, or whatever they are. Yes, pick up the apple. You know you want to. Hmm. Must have been uh, given, given to her by a witch of some sort. 500 miles away from her starting point. That was fast. Jill wanders into a strange and mystical grove of mushrooms. Stops to ponder the situation. <laughs> what can I say? What unspeakable forces of nature lie beyond the grave? Grove! I have a feeling they thought of that phrase when they made that sentence. Okay. And, um, that was it. 
that's episode one of Dill of the Jungle. And I hope to see uh, everyone back here for episode two, uh, Jill Goes Underground. Well, see you in time for the next part. It'll be fun.